Hi, Tupitubers! I'm Julie, your animation partner on Tupitube. In the previous video, we did our first animation exercise, and in this one, we're going to learn three basic concepts of motion. To do so, we're going to do three simple exercises animating a single object. A point! That's right, we'll bring a little point to life. If you remember well, in our first practice, each frame of the animation contained a number. But there was no motion relationship between each frame, meaning that each image shown by the player was totally independent of the previous one. This time, the challenge is different because we're going to show how our point moves across the canvas. And although we'll repeat the same dynamic of drawing one frame at a time, in this new exercise, the point in each frame must be related to the point drawn in the previous frame and to the point drawn in the next frame. Now it is time to open TubeTube and start a new project. For this exercise, we'll work with the vertical dimension HD, which means a size of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Okay, the point that we're going to animate is actually a circle. So we'll start by choosing the thickness of the brush equal to 10 and changing the fill color in the color palette from transparent to black. Additionally, we'll use a resource that will make the exercises much easier, a guide grid, that is found in the option bar located on the lower right edge of the work area and is very useful for measuring distances between elements within the canvas. It is the fourth button from left to right and you can activate or deactivate it whenever you want. Okay, it is time to start the three animation exercises that we'll do during this practice. The concepts that we'll study through the exercises are constant speed, acceleration, and deceleration. Let's start with the first one. The speed is a physical magnitude related to movement. We talk about constant speed when an object is in motion, but it moves the same distance in each unit of time. For example, if you move one meter for each second that passes, you are moving at a constant speed. Now, let's animate this concept. Let's start on the left edge of the work area and at the first point. To make the circle perfect, press the control key while you draw it. That's it, our first frame is done. For the second frame, we will clone the first one. To do this, go to the exposure table and press the duplicate frame button. Next, activate the selection tool and select our point to move it a little to the right using the right pointed arrow key on our keyboard. For this exercise, we will try to have the new point at a distance of one square from the auxiliary grid. Now duplicate the frame again and repeat the same procedure. Move the point to the right, a distance equal to one square on the grid. Next, we will repeat this operation several times until our point reaches the right edge of the work area. Remember that it is important to keep the distance between the points of each frame and the previous one always the same. Once the exercise is finished, press the Enter key to go to the player. At this moment, the FPS value is at 24. We will change it to 12 to appreciate it a little better. As you can see, the speed of the object never changes. To save this exercise, do not forget to press the Save button as we did in previous exercises. You can call this project Console Speed. Okay, let's continue with the next concept. Acceleration is also a physical magnitude and occurs when a moving object changes its speed while moving. The change in speed becomes noticeable because the distance the object advances varies at each instant. So we are going to create a new project and do an exercise very similar to the previous one. But with a variation. Each time we add a new point, we are going to increase the distance concerning the previous point. Let's get started! First, activate the auxiliary grid again. Then, adjust the thickness of the brush and the fill color.
and other point on the left edge. Next, duplicate the frame to move our point to a distance equal to a half a square of the grid. Now, repeat the same procedure, but this time we'll go point a square and a half away. It is important that in each new repetition, the distance between the point of the current frame and the previous one increases until we reach the right edge of the work area. Once the exercise is finished, press the Enter key to see the result. Do you notice the difference in the movement of our point concerning the previous exercise? Now we can say that our point is accelerating as it advances because its speed over time is changing. Don't forget to save the exercise as well. You can call it acceleration. To finish, we're going to do a deceleration exercise. As you can imagine, it is the opposite concept to the previous exercise. This time, our point will advance a smaller distance in each new frame. Let's get started! We set up our project in the same way as in the previous exercises and add our point to the left edge of the canvas. Duplicate the frame, but this time place our second point seven squares away from the first. Duplicate the frame again, and now we place our point six squares away. Repeat the procedure again, and in each new iteration, decrease the distance between the point of the current frame and the point of the previous frame, until the point reaches the right edge of the work area. Once the exercise is finished, press the Enter key to see how it turned out. You'll notice that the result is the opposite of the previous exercise, right? Don't forget to save this last one. You can call it deceleration. We have finished our practice for today. However, don't forget that to keep improving your skills as an animator, you have to practice over and over again, and also to get familiar with the stupid tube application. For example, you can try new variations of these exercises, moving the point from left to right, but diagonally, I don't know, whatever you want. And also, if you post your exercises on the Tube community, leave a comment here because I love going to check out all of your exercises, Tupitubers. As you can see, compared to our previous practice, things are getting much more interesting. Becoming a digital artist is a long but fun road and we are going to enjoy every inch of it. So, goodbye to be sure. see you in the next video, stay tuned!